It's time for One Minute to Millions. That's where we take somebody with a very small business, we bring our experts back, and in less than a minute, we show them how to build it into a multi-million dollar business. And for the first time ever, somebody from American Dream Team who sent us in a video is on the hot seat tonight. Let's take a look. By watching, the big idea helps me stay motivated to keep going after my dream. Thanks a lot, Donnie. Don't mention it. Kathy Carabassi is the founder of Monster Proof, and she's right here now. We're about to transform her business, help her make millions. Let's find out about her business before we get into One Minute to Millions. Hi, Donnie. My name is Kathy Carabassi, the creator of Monster Proof. I created Monster Proof Pajamas and the Sleeping Z's characters. They help children conquer their fears of monsters lurking in the darkness. I got the idea of Monster Proof Pajamas because when I was a child, I was afraid of monsters. And when I had children, I wanted to conquer that fear for them. My aha moment was when I got emails from mothers telling me that their child has to wear the pajamas every single night to bed. I know for a fact that this will make millions. So Donnie, please, please help me make millions. All right, Kathy, you bet we'll help you make the millions. Bobby and Jamie are back, the brother's dean, so is Lisa. We're going to ask the big questions once again. We love this. This is basically put the monsters on the jammy so they're not afraid of the monsters anymore. Let's get right into one into millions. First of all, how'd you come up with the name? I wanted to come up with a catchy name to help children overcome their fear of monsters. Okay, let's get right into it. Brothers D, do we like the name? Yes. 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 Lisa, like? Love it. Oh, too, yes, good start. Why do we like it? Oh, it's so cute, and it's to the point, and I have a baby at home, and it's just it's just cute. I love it. I think it's spot on. What do you like about it? I agree. I think it's just right on target. Okay. I, mm -hmm. Lisa? I echo it's simple, and that tells the story very quickly. Right. Yeah, I love it also. Once again, three A's here, because Monster Proof, anytime something is fresh, anytime you can say what the product does, right. the benefit in the title, so we love it. We yep. don't even have to go through the, first, the next 30 seconds here. We all love it. Okay. Packaging. Let's first talk about the packaging. Describe the packaging to us. Okay, well, we have box layettes, layette packaging. Comes in, it comes with a layette, a, rom a baby romper, a baby booty, a hat, a bib, and then the knit knitting packaging. Okay, do we like the packaging, Brothers Deed? No. No, do we like the packaging? Layette, yes, pack the other, no. Okay, we got some work to do here. What mm -hmm. don't we like about the packaging? What would we do? It? The, the, the box with the ribbon, I love. I think this is great. I love that you can see it. I think this is awesome packaging. Mm -hmm. I'm just not in love with the net. You don't know I what would, it is. I if would, it's a two-piece or a zipper or button, it's important right. to see the design of the, what's in the bag. I would go in a different direction with, with that particular packaging. Okay. Lisa? I'd like to see more continuity between the branding on both of uh, the packaging as well, like on the card that you have there and then the card that's on the other. I like the circle M. But I agree with you, um, especially if you're intending to go into mass someday with this, that's not going to be acceptable. Yeah. Okay. Once again, I think it's a very important thing. I also, once again, want, I would love in the packaging, in the labeling, to say more about what it is, to really say, are your children afraid of monsters? We've got the solution for them. And I think Lisa brings up a great point. Whatever you do as far as hang tags, logos, should always look the same. Right here, you've got green, you've got blue here. Okay. Always, always the same, especially when you're a small company. Okay, let's move on. Do we have the right target audience? What is the target audience? Children and mothers, parents. Well, well if I'm good, if you're going to well, do I'm advertising. Tar I'm targeting for children, but I have to go through the parents to get to so the then child. So once again, I'm going to ask you the question. What is the target market? Parents, parents, mothers. Mothers, okay. Do we like that? Yes. Don't forget the dads. And fathers, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we have the right target audience? Grandmas. Grandmas, okay. So you would actually go a little bit of a different direction. Here. First, let's more come disposable to... income. Well, this interesting point. Okay, why do you think mm -hmm. just parents and what else would you do with it? We all were children at one time and we all had monsters under our bed and in our closets. I know that I did. <laughs> but once again, the question is though, by targeting to the, do you need the children to drive the parents or are the parents going to do it on their own? That's a good question. It could go either way. I think if you if you want a, a, a long-term sale, you want to hook the kids. But the right. parents, if they're finding a problem at home and they see it and the children don't, it may be a surprise gift for them. Okay, Lisa. That's a toss-up, Donnie. I'm not sure. Toss-up. You say go straight to grandparents. I do. Um, I also think that because you're trying to increase your market, saying from zero to, is it 12? Zero to eight. Zero to eight. See, zero, you know, New zero to, to eight. three are not even going to make a buying decision. It's going to be the parents or the grandparents in that situation. The older they get, then I totally agree. Then it's going to be the kid's decision that they can't live without it. I actually think, forget kids. Parents know if their kid, if your kid is afraid right. of monsters, you know it. You don't, you know, the advertising kids is a whole different direction. Right. Parents, and once again, I think great publicity. Go on the Today Show with this stuff. I love it. Your kids are sure. afraid of I'm monsters. You got the hands. <laughs> I'll hook them up there. Okay, let's move on. Does this have the right price? What is the price point of this? Ten dollars mm -hmm. to forty dollars for a pajama. What does an average pair of pajamas cost usually? Thirty-two dollars. Oh, so it's right in the price range. So mm -hmm. give me the price range again. Ten dollars 
to $32, $32. depending $32. on if you're getting a plush doll, it's $10. Do we have the right price range? That might be a little high for something that the children outgrow very quickly. Not your right price range? No, I agree. It's oh, not two right notes. Price. Don't worry. Okay, so what will we do with it and how will we price it? Uh, you just want to, you want to get a point that you can live with, but children outgrow things so quickly, especially from zero to 12 or 13 months. My son is very large for 17 months and we go through pajamas like, you know, paper towels. So you want to be careful and $40 is a lot for a pair of PJs. Lisa? We talked a little bit about the, your desire to make a TV show out of this and some of the other concepts you have and that it would have to be mass. And that's great for boutique, that's a good price, but it's not going to work for mass. I'll tell you one thing though, I actually like a high price and this, I'll tell you what, you're not just clothing your child here, you're solving an emotional problem. So as parents, as a new parent, as parents, as parents, you go, wait a second, maybe the price elasticity here is a lot higher because this is not just putting a pair of pajamas, this is giving my kid a good night's sleep and me a good night's sleep, mm -hmm. so actually I think a higher price point might make it, but certainly up for debate. Okay, we're going to... And it comes with a children's book. And it will always yeah. be selling, always be selling. <laughs> and I actually disagree with book. both of them. I think it could be a little higher. It comes I with a children's book and a plush doll. I don't have any children, but I think that you could price this a little higher, I really. All right, okay, so we're not. we're all different places of prices. Finally, does this, is this a big idea, Brothers Dean? Yes, this is a big idea. Lisa Lloyd. Absolutely. I agree also, this is an industry. This is an industry, we love it. You've done great tonight. The takeaway advice here is, let's think a little bit more about the price point. Make sure your packaging is very homogenous. Always have the logo looking the same way. Focus right. on the parents. You're off to millions, kid. You're only right. doing 50 grand. You're going to come back next year. You're going to be doing 5 million. She's got her marching orders. Hey. They've got their millions. She's got her millions. I got my millions. <laughs> You're up next for your millions. One big idea straight ahead. Next, a